the first things that you want to do when you when you when you get your generator home is to make sure that you keep it away from open windows, vents, or doors. Never use your generator inside homes or garages, crawl spaces, or enclosed areas. That's mainly because of the carbon monoxide. The exhaust from the generators uh, can get basically into anywhere into your homes. I um, mean, you don't even know, you won't even smell it. When you use an extension cord, this is what most people use to connect to their to, to the houses and to the appliances. Make sure they're of the grounded type. They'll tell you on the package that it's a grounded type and it's rated for that application. A lot of people may have it because it's a short run, they may have it coiled up. The coil card cords can get hot and always uncoil the cords and lay them in a flat open area. Um, that way they get to dissipate the heat. When you, when you have an appliance, um, and a fan or say a microwave or even a fridge, or, it's good to know what wattage that appliance is and you, you'll know what wattage your generator is rated at and if it can, if it can handle it. You want to keep your generator um, conveniently located, um, that you, you know where it is at all times. You'd also want to change the oil before after, after the, the last season. Um, change the oils. Um, filters, if they come equipped with filters, and you want to put fresh fuel. Normally after 30 days the fuel can get stale in it. You can either put in a fuel stabilizer or just uh, drain the tank and put in a fresh tank of, of gas in it. And you should also um, use a storage cover to keep the generator free from dirt and debris and water. You know, with the, especially with the salt air and Cayman, it can, the electrical parts can get corroded very, very quickly. Um, and especially after, if it gets wet. It's good to maintain your generator according to the maintenance schedule for peak performance. Uh, run your generator occasionally, even when we're out of the season. If you're looking to power your whole house uh, from a generator, I absolutely insist that you first contact a licensed electrician to the number one source of generator that it has the size capacity to handle the load of your house and then to have it properly installed, this should be done through a transfer switch, automatic transfer switch, which will sense that there's no more CUC power or uh, line power and automatically turn your generator on. That will then power your house, but this should definitely be done by a licensed electrician.